Hi, welcome back to Lakeside Quilt Making Arts. Today's video is about when the creative process stops us. When all of a sudden there's a roadblock in the middle of that, you know, expressway that you're, you've got all these things firing in your head and you want to make it happen, but there's some technicality that's creating a roadblock. For me, what's happening right now, this is the Mars quilt that I've talked a fair amount about. I'm passionate about this little quilt because it's just um, a creative, whimsical thing that I'm working out with one of my great nephews. So, you know, he I've said it before, he wants to be, um, he's eight years old, he told me he wants to be a NASA engineer so he can create a space suit suitable for Mars so man can populate Mars. And I think that's awesome, okay? We live in Huntsville, Alabama, where, you know, you, you've got to have some aspirations for space or, you know, you're going to lose your citizenship, you know, <laughs> there's a membership card to living in Huntsville, Alabama, and you've got to care about the space in order to have that card. Um, and so I love it that he's already thinking that way and he's, you know, and he, all kinds of things he could have told me. He's on the football team. He could have told me about that, but no, he was, he's thinking about his future, which is awesome. So I want to support that, right? Well, so I just had some fabrics that I was going to use for his quilt and I just pulled them together and I thought, what can I do? I, I would just sew this together in some kind of whimsical representation of a city. So, you know, you've got your horizon line here with, this is, you know, like in the water because we'll be living underneath some kind of dome thing so that we can have an atmosphere that we can live in. So you'll have water on Mars. I've got some Star Wars fabrics that I've incorporated in here. And you've got your skyscrapers, in, but you've got a very weird looking sky, right? This, this is what you'll have on Mars. You may have green in your skies along with your yellow. It's a very linear, you know, everything is mirror image from down the center line. But then I wanted to make sure it looks like it belongs on Mars. So I started doing this crazy quilt crumb quilting and I'm loving it. I intend for it to be in a circle around the city. That's one of my stumbling blocks, but that one I think is more easily overcome. My biggest stumbling block, because I'm getting close to the point where I got to figure this out, is if this is going to be a curve and I don't want to have, make sure you can see my hand, I don't want to have a horizontal line that comes out and then a vertical line that is this border. I want it to flow just by happenstance. That kind of is working out here. Can you see how there's a bit of a curve here? That's what I, I want. I want it to feel like we're inside of a bubble. Excuse me for interrupting, but I forgot to mention that something. One of the other things that is a roadblock for this quilt is the fact that it's upstairs. My largest design boards are upstairs. There, there's two of them side by side here. They're six foot tall, four feet wide. And I have sections of these boards that I have to cover yet and get put above there. So I'll have eight foot tall by eight foot wide. It covers up the door to the bonus room, but I rarely go in that bonus room. It's just for where the nieces and nephews and grandbabies play when they come. Um, so it's okay. And plus these boards are not attached. They can, they can slide side by side. And that's, that's great that it's modular, but it's upstairs. So to be able to work on this and taking something to the sewing machine and then come back and looking at it to see how it looks, I try to minimize that, that, that step because I don't like the stairs. The stairs don't like me and walking up and down them takes a lot out of me and it, it limits what I can do for the day. Um, so I just try not to do it too much. And sometimes to actually to uh, minimize the effort that the stairs take, I just crawl up them on all four, but it's just work. And so that's a hold back for me, but there's not a place for this downstairs unless I were to completely give over my living space. And I have thought about that, like taking these boards down and putting them in front of the fireplace while I'm finishing this quilt. And I might end up doing that just for that, you know, mad rush to the end. But that's it. Just wanted you to see this. The, the uh, binding that I will put on this will be some kind of light teal blue to kind of represent that, that glass bubble that we'll be living under whenever we're living on Mars. 
So we're using our creativity here, right? We are clearly using our creativity. I guess I need to look at this block and see how it is accomplishing this rounded look because this is more like what I want to accomplish on all four corners. If you've ever had to work on a quilt and create a rounded edge, please let me know some tips because I'm working this out on my own. I am working this one out on my own. Of course, and I, I failed to explain, but um, I believe it was, it should be obvious, <laughs> which makes me, makes me laugh to even think about the fact that I said it should be obvious because there's no part of this that is obvious. But if this is Mars, if we're on Mars here, well, all of this red represents Mars. Uh, and Mars is surrounding our civilization, our settlement. The name that I came up with for, for this quilt is, um, I'm actually going back and forth between two names. One is for, um, for All Mankind. There's a TV show that was on Apple, is on Apple, but they're off season right now. They just finished up last week or two weeks ago, something like that. It's, I think it's For All Mankind. In that TV show, it is about an alternate universe where we didn't make it to the moon first, but the Russians did. And, you know, how that alters the timeline and, you know, it's this whole drama and, and everything. And it's quite, quite good. It was entertaining t TV. I, I've enjoyed it. Watched four seasons worth with my son while he was visiting. But in that show, there's a, the first settlement on Mars is called Happy Valley. So I'm thinking this is Happy Valley 2.0, <laughs> because this is definitely a way big step up from what they lived in in Happy Valley inside that TV show. So this is either For All Mankind, or this is Happy Valley. The unfortunate part of that wonderful name <laughs> is that my eight-year-old nephew does not have an Apple device, so he's not seen the TV show. I think that just means he needs to come for a long weekend, maybe a couple weekends, so that we can watch it together. That's it for this video. I just wanted to bring you along and let you see what the Mars quilt is shaping up to be. I haven't made progress on it in the last couple of weeks, but I plan to this weekend. Just making more of these sections that will get sewn together to make, make the border uh, all the way around. And then I get to figure out, hopefully, you know, I'm going to have the edges rounded. Then I get to figure out how to cut the whole thing in a round. I want it to be a round quilt too, not just rounded edges. So we'll, we'll work on that one step at a time. We'll be doing it together. Thanks for being here. Thanks for spending time with me and uh, caring about what we're doing at this channel. I really appreciate you being here and taking a little bit of your time to, to visit with me and, you know, just kind of stepping into my world. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing and doing all the things that helps this channel to grow, but mostly just thank you for being here. Thank you. Bye.